What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So I finally got to go and pay a little attention to this little gem right here. I used it a few times um, at Boston Bowl, but usually it was like, you know, after using another ball the entire time, and then I was like, oh, I wonder what this ball will do, but I never like actually went there. I was like, all right, this is the only ball coming out of the bag today. I don't care. Like, this is it. I'm using this ball six games. Let's see what happens. So that's what I did today. So this is a uh, Storm High Road, and it's a hybrid. So, so it's kind of like a, a solid and a pearl blended together. You can kind of see and the texture of the ball looks like that's exactly what it is. It's a pearl and a hybrid, just blended together. So I'm gonna do my best here. Um, I'm working off the laptop. As you can see, the computer is uh, still in shambles. Video card's not in. Power supply that I got from China was junk. You know, I cut corners. <laughs> I, I just don't understand how it's just a box that supplies power through wires to components. I figured, oh, 160 or 400. Uh, let's go with the 160. Well, now I think I'm gonna get screwed on that 160 and I had to pay the 400 anyway because Amazon wasn't the supplier, so it came from China, and I had to do this huge, yeah, you know how it goes. And my original computer I was using before, I put back together in a new case, got it working. It's under the desk right now, but it's creating a whitelist and putting antivirus, so I can't do anything until it's done. And I was gonna sell it, but I don't know. I don't think people are gonna wanna pay what I want to get out of it, and it's kind of flaky, to be honest. Like the video card is, uh, I don't know, it has its days. But I might just keep it, you know, and hook it up to my TV to play video games with or something, but any custom PC builder knows that custom PCs are great, because you can customize it the way you want, but they're also a pain because you're trying to get a bunch of different components from a, a bunch of different companies all to work together at the same time. Sometimes that's easier said than done. And uh, usually there's issues, but it's a love-hate relationship. Just like bowling. Well, actually, bowling's more of a love relationship, to be honest. <clears throat> so... Let's try to go into the footage here. Probably no green screen, because I don't think I can swing that, but let's check it out anyway. All right, I think I figured it out. It's a, it's a lot harder when you don't have two screens, but uh, we're gonna figure this out. I can't wait to, uh, th that thing better be running this week. All right, let's try this. It's kind of strange because I can't hear what, what's going on. I just have to play it back and hear it after the fact, but <clears throat> this was at Boston Bowl today. And Boston Bowl, I mean, this is fresh oil there. I was the first person on the lanes. And no matter what ball I have in my bag, I can't use it here. It's very difficult to use. It's just, it's so dry and it's so unforgiving. But this high road with the five inch 
pin on it. There's a beauty there. An absolute beauty. I was really working on like posting up and kind of see I'm, like all my other shots I kind of stumble to the line roll the ball and then back up I'm actually like staying I'm trying to post up and as soon as I started doing that and not looking at the pins but looking at the arrows on the floor you know I started being able to get the ball to the right and this ball will stay to the right and not just start digging in early like all of my other balls <clears throat> And I thought pearls were better for, you know, gliding through the oil and uh, being super late, but it's not always the case. I see with these uh, hybrids and solids now that they, you know, they burn up some of their energy in the front, so they don't, they don't overreact in the back, and I kind of like it, to be honest. I think that's the direction I'm heading. I want some more light oil solids. Maybe like a Venom Shock solid. You know, I might mess around in that area. And I also want to mess around with uh, asymmetrics. Because, uh, like Mr. Mo Pinnell said, that's the future. That is the future without the balance holes. Because that PSA location, being able to move that around, uh, gives people a lot more versatility in drilling. So that's another thing that I would like to mess around with is uh, I have that nemesis. I just, I, I did pretty darn good today. I mean, I didn't do great, but I was consistently hitting the pocket and they weren't the ball wasn't overhooking too much. You know, I, I wasn't getting strikes every time, but I was at least hitting on the right side of the pins, not the left. And uh, I, I did get quite a few strikes today, so... If you're a two-handed bowler and you're looking for a little bit more of control, the uh, Storm High Road I wouldn't go any more than a five inch pin. I wouldn't go I wouldn't go any less. I mean I wouldn't go with a four and a half or a four. I would go with like five, five and a half. If, if I was able to drill it again, I would go with a five and a half. Or a five and a quarter. And that was just me messing around at the end trying to loft the gutter. Nope, I lied to you. I just wanted to make sure. My Storm High Road Hybrid. I put a 60 by 5.5 by 55. So I do have a 5.5 inch pin on that ball. 60 by 5.5 by 55. And like, if I, if I bring that ball to uh, Malden, where they do a nice job oiling there, it's, it's like nice and oily. That ball, I can I can get to the right a little bit more because I have I have tried it a few times there, just briefly, not for like an entire session, but you know I threw it a few times and I could I could move myself to the right, and I had no problems with overhooking. It was actually a few times where I wish it it would have hooked a little bit more, but uh, at Boston Bowl, you know the 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 desert of bowling alleys. It does, uh, it does pretty good there. I mean, it's still, still a little bit much. I think if, uh, if I was in like night league where the lanes got beat up all day and people were throwing plastic balls, even still it might be a little strong. But at least on the fresh at Boston Bowl, it does pretty good. So. Yeah, those are the directions I kind of want to head, is into symmetrical uh, solids, light oil solids, and do a couple of, like, realistic layouts this time, not, like, try to go to extremes, but uh, as soon as I have a little bit of money after the computer's done, 
that's going to be my first purchase is a solid. But I was thinking in the meantime, you know, I'm starting to get the, the solid thing down. I mean, the uh, symmetrical ball layout thing down. I'm, I'm starting to figure out what I need to do, what I, what I shouldn't do. And uh, asymmetrics, like Mr. Mo said, is going to be the, it, you know, it's the future because there's more versatility in layouts with an asymmetric ball because you have a PSA stamped on the ball already. PSA doesn't move around when you drill it. It's got one. So, I just wanted to see, right quick, I wanted to check it out with you guys. Let me just get rid of that. So I was watching the Storm Storm Vector or whatever it is that the the Storm layout system that they have. And it's very similar to and and I believe in this one of Mo's videos, he's like, who do you think came up with that? Probably Mo. So let me just uh, bring you down here. Yeah, I uh, picked a scab from work. Sorry. Couldn't resist. You know how it is. Let me just do it. Yeah, there it is. Couldn't resist. Now it's bleeding. And uh, this is my last grease pencil. I need to get more. So with asymmetrical balls, it's not only the pin to PAP distance, it's the uh, PSA to PAP distance. And I, I didn't know any of this before. I just drilled the ball and see what happened, you know? So I'm going to... I really need to recheck my positive access point sometime. Maybe we'll do a video on that sometime soon. How to find your PAP, but I would like to get the armadillo. I kind of cheaped out the first time. But maybe we should do it without it anyway, just because most other people won't have the armadillo. But this, this is a must have. The Pro Sect, because you can do so much with this. And I believe you can find your PAP with this, too. But this, uh, this, everyone needs one of these. I know it's like a hundred bucks for a piece of plastic, but you gotta have it. So, mine is... Five and three eighths over. By an inch and a half down. The last time I checked. So there it is. There's my PAP. There's the PSA. right down there so on this ball it is a 5 inch pin to PAP distance let's confirm Trident Nemesis 45 by 5 by 45 yes it is a 5 inch pin so I thought like, oh, it's gonna be, you know, fairly weak. No, no, <laughs> not at all. Because there's this other factor involved here. So my PAP to PSA is four inches. Ah. That explains it. It is, it does get down the lane pretty good. 
especially nice and polished. But when it gets down to the end, it takes off. And uh, it takes off too much. Too much for me. I mean, I was thinking, yo, maybe I'll save it for when I encounter heavier oil. I'm never going to encounter heavier oil. I go to two bowling alleys. So it's going to sit on the shelf and collect dust. So if I'm not going to actively use the ball, I'm going to change it or I'm going to give it away and buy a new one. So what I was thinking is I did uh, a video where it was the same ball, same cover stock, same core, and the only thing we changed was the layout and we saw the differences. So for this one, I was thinking we keep the same, the same pin to PAP d distance, we'll keep that five inches, absolute same. But the only thing we'll do is move the PSA closer to my PAP to make this ball weaker. And I was thinking, you know, crazy, but I was thinking, what if, what if there was a way, you know, I could stick one finger in the ball and kind of rotate it a little bit and only use one finger on my release and draw a line so I know where the center, you know, where the ball should line up with my knuckles and try to release it. And uh, today I, I just kind of threw a couple of shots like that with one finger in. And that's just me being crazy. Because that's not going to work. You need both finger holes for like a, a real test result. So, yeah, so at some point I'm going to plug this. And we'll put uh, the same 5-inch same pin. We'll just move the PSA closer and then go try it again you know over at Malden and see what happens so that would be an interesting experiment to do because I would like a I want a nice strong asymmetrical pearl because these asym pearls seem to be very very popular amongst you know the big guys so there's a reason for that and uh I want an asymmetrical pearl that's drilled correctly that will work for me at Malden. So I'm going to mess around with this one, you know, redrill, test, redrill, test until I can figure it out. And then, you know, when I buy a new bowl, I'll put one layout in it that works and then it will go on the shelf. I don't know, I just, I'm weird. I don't like to keep balls that have a bunch of plugged holes in them. It's just not my style, but I know other people don't care. As long as it knocks the pins down, who gives a crap? But yeah, that's it guys. If you're a two-handed bowler and you're having trouble, I highly recommend that high road. For starters, anyway, and go with, I would go with like a five and three quarter inch pin even, maybe. And that ball's been around for a long, long time. Belmo uses that ball. I believe Belmo uses the Pearl version too, but I don't know. I, I would probably start with the, uh, the hybrid just because it, it's not as like snappy. It did have a nice smooth motion to it and I kind of liked it. But at Boston Bowl, you know, it, it's really hard to bowl there. It, it really is. If you can learn how to bowl at Boston Bowl, you can bowl anywhere. And I have no problem getting strikes in Malden. No problem. Any ball, well, especially the uh, Venom Shock Pearl and the, the uh, Rogue Assassin, which is a solid. That, I love that ball. I will never part with that ball. Those two balls are part of my two highest games. They just work. And they do good. 
And I had no idea what I was doing when I laid them out. I just put a layout on them and I think I got lucky. But now I'm starting to figure it out, you know, what I need to do. So, yeah, that's it, guys. Make sure you uh, subscribe, give the video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time.